What's up y'all? My name is Linda J. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do a braided ponytail. I almost did this because I thought it was in my head already. I watched Tierra's video and I really really love how her braid came, came out. So I'm basically recreating off of the tutorial that I watched that she created. So we're gonna jump right into it. What I've already done off of camera is blow my hair out, put my hair in a ponytail, and sleek it down. I know I did a bunch off of camera, but let me show you guys what it's looking like right now because I honestly don't know. Okay. Okay. No. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> it's not looking bad. It's actually not looking bad. I'm, I'm kind of tripping. What I did was, like I said, blow my hair out and throw it into this. It's not a low ponytail. It's kind of in the middle. It's low. It's low. I threw my hair in this low ponytail. And as you can see, I used my swirly curly hair tie. I love this hair tie. I've talked about it before. But I really love this hair tie because it's A, snag free for my hair. And it allows me to make my ponytail as tight or as loose as I want it to without causing me any tension. Like, if I used this hair tie i'm pretty sure one my hair would snag you probably can't see this but there's a little ouch list method that they use right here that typically always snags my hair and then two this makes my head hurt this does not my hair has been in this low ponytail since last night and it is noon and i'm perfectly fine i feel nothing this is what the hair tie looks like and then there is a button right here where you unsnap it just like that and it becomes like this single, okay, now it's not focusing, but it becomes this like single thing. <laughs> My hair is already tied up, but I'll demonstrate. I just hold the one end of it so that the snappable part is facing upward. I hold it like this and then just go in circles. All I have to do is snap it and it'll stay so i'm going to unsnap it because i do not need it i will have a link in the description box to this hair tie if you're interested i really love it this is pretty much the only hair tie i use for my real hair i went to the hair store and got three packs of hair one two three and this color i believe this is a 1b i believe this is a 1b and it's already pre-stretched so what that means is it starts off really full and then it is tapered towards the end and that's the look that i'm going for i want more of a tapered ponytail but i also want it to be really full which is why i grabbed three packs there is no name on this hair it just it just is what it is. My African lady was just like, you'll like this hair. This is really good. This is better than the Kanekalon hair. Or not the Kanekalon, but the packaged hair. And I was like, all right, girl, I trust you. So I grabbed these and I do like it. Um, I do like how it's pre-stretched. So I'm looking forward to how it'll look in the braided ponytail. Well, you know what? Tierra said she used two and a half, but these are really, really thick. This is really, really thick. <laughs> I'm currently just taking them out of their rubber bands so I can put them together and see how thick they'll be together so I can determine whether or not I need more hair. This is two packs of hair right here. It can be a little thicker. Yeah, I'll just go ahead. I mean, why not? I have it. <laughs> so I'll go ahead and take the hair out of the third pack and add about half of the pack into the bunch. Now what I'm going to do is grab one of the rubber bands that came with, or no, I'm not gonna grab a rubber band. I'm gonna grab a hair tie and I'm going to try to show you my best. The hair is on top of my hand, as you can see. I'm just gonna grab the hair tie and then allow it to, um, allow the hair to sit on top of the hair tie. Grab one end of the hair tie and loop it like that. And the reason why I'm doing this is because um, I'm about to tie this hair onto the top of my actual hair. And then I wanna make sure that the bottom is somewhat even, it is. Can you see that? Yeah, that's pretty much even. I have a lot of hair. I might have to do this twice. No, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I'm not gonna double loop it, I'm just gonna, okay, got it. <laughs> 
but I'm gonna grab the hair that I've put onto the hair tie and just loop it around my makeshift ponytail right here one time. I do wanna make sure that the Konecolon hair is on top like that because according to Tierra, this will allow it to look more natural. Let me go ahead and unbraid my hair. <laughs> now with my, cause I don't know, with a brush, I'm going to brush out my real hair as gently as I can. Also, one thing to know is when I was sleeking my hair down, I'm going to go back and do some more work to get it a little more perfect. But when I sleek my hair down before I went to bed, I used edge control and edge control only. The edge control that I chose to use was the Kiss Edge Fixer Glued. I use edge control because it's less watery than hair gel. Hair gel will just cause my curls to revert and it'll give me a wavy look. And waves are totally fine. Those are beautiful. However, with this look specifically, I really wanted something sleek and flat. So I used the edge control and it did a pretty good job of getting my hair nice and sleek without awakening my curls. With the braiding hair, we're going to split that into three sections. <laughs> One, two, three. We got our three sections. Just gonna bring this over here. <laughs> and then we're gonna split my hair into three sections. My arms are already hurting. One, two, and three. <sighs> my arms already hurt. Oh my gosh. So I'm going to gently brush through, gently, gently, gently brush through just to try to rid any tangles and tame any flyaways. You know what, I probably should put some edge control on my real hair, but I'm scared. All right, let's do it. Let's just put some edge control on my hair and see how that does. It should be fine, right? I don't know, I'm gonna do it anyway though. Yeah, I think this is a good idea to help my hair stay like intact. That probably doesn't make any sense, but like stay stiff. <laughs> That's kind of what, what I need. There we go. So what I'm going to do prematurely is try to tuck my hair inside of the braiding hair so that it is harder to see. Yeah, I like that. I think that'll work. If I can get this to stay like this, I don't know how. <sighs> this is hard to do on your own. <gasps> oh, I just undid the wrong thing. Okay, wait, it's easy, it's fine. <laughs> mm, my arm hurts. Okay. Let's go ahead and start braiding. <laughs> oh, I'm supposed to leave a piece out, that's right. So I'm gonna leave a tiny, tiny, tiny piece out. Now I'm confused. I'm confused. Why am I so confused? This should be this should be one. Oh, you know why? Cause I don't know where my real hair is for this piece anymore. <sighs> my arm hurts, I need a moment. <sighs> okay, I found you. And you should have been tucked too, sir. It's harder to do when your hair is natural, but. We're going to do it. Okay, I feel like we got a good start so far. <laughs> We didn't even do anything. I'm going to keep braiding downward. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I definitely feel my real hair sticking out right here. Uh, I'm gonna go back up a little bit. This is not gonna be good. But it's okay, I'm gonna have to go back and tuck it. I'm gonna try to keep it brushed out as I go. Here we are thus far. I can obviously see my hair right here, but that's okay. I'm going to swing it around so I can finish braiding.
what I'm doing now is adding some hair into the middle braid because I know I'm gonna run out prematurely and I don't really wanna do that. And then I'm just gonna braid all the way down. Now that we are at the end of the braid, I could braid a little bit more, but I'm nervous that I'm gonna accidentally let go and it's gonna unravel and da 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 da. So I'm going to take one of the rubber bands that came with the hair and tie it around the end of the braid. This is what our braid is looking like right now. I know I have a massive piece in here with my hair out right there. I'm gonna have to get in front of the camera and figure that one out. Or not the camera, the mirror. But with the piece that we left out, I'm going to be covering um, the scrunchy part. Just go around that scrunchy part and cover it with the hair. Now I'm gonna go in and lay down my hair some more <laughs> i don't know why i was trying to make that more complicated but i'm just gonna lay down my baby hair and make it a little more sleek because last night my edges did get messed up which is expected so i'm not tripping about that but i do want to go back and fix it Okay, you know what? <laughs> it is what it is, okay? As a natural, I've accepted that I'm not going to always be able to achieve the super sleek look without my hair just doing its own thing. I'm gonna accept these waves. It's nothing to be mad about. Now that everything is laid to the best of my ability, child, it's just gonna do what it wants. At the end of the day, I'm going to wrap my hair with this um, bandana, scarf, whatever you want to call it. I'm gonna let it sit for maybe about 20 to 30 minutes and then I'll come back and show you guys what it looks like. And we are back. I'm gonna go ahead and take the scarf off. I don't know if you can tell, but I can tell that my hair is sticking out right here. You can see a little bit of texture right there. I'm not tripping about that. I'm not going to go back and fix it. One thing I am annoyed about is that the inside of the braid is literally perfect. You can't see any of my hair, but this is the side of the braid that nobody's going to see because it's going to be flat on my back. The part that everybody's going to see has my hair. Wait, does it have my hair? I think so. I think I can see it right here. Yeah, I can feel it. Dang, that's so annoying. Otherwise, <laughs> this turns out really, really nice for my first try. I'm very, very happy. This looks good. This might be my new go-to. This looks so, so good. What do you guys think? I'm not sure if I covered the entire um, hair tie. So I might be thinking like, oh, this is so fire. And y'all might be looking at a brown part of my hair tie and I don't even know, I can't see it right now. So I'm satisfied with it. I think this is a look. I'm definitely gonna have to go take pictures. Let me know what you guys think. What I would say is that if you are going to try this hairstyle and you want it to look as sleek and as flat as possible, I would definitely recommend blowing your hair out and straightening it. I didn't go that route because I just feel like if I'm gonna straighten my hair 
it has to be out. I'm not gonna straighten my hair just to throw it up into a ponytail unless it's getting towards that time for me to go back to curly. I will definitely wear this braided ponytail at like the end of my straight hair period do you know what i mean so if i wear straight hair for a week and at the end of that week it was starting to look a little busted i would definitely throw it up in a ponytail sleek my hair down and then throw a braided ponytail in it so that i can get a more sleek effect but you know if i straighten my hair i'm not gonna waste it just to throw products on it it has to be out a few days so that would be my only piece of advice other than that like it's not gonna blend perfectly if your hair is not straight like if you have kinky hair like me i have 4b 4c hair so in order for it to be sleek and flat it definitely has to be straightened but again i'm not willing to do that i'm okay with it looking like this it looks totally fine to me is that white stuff do i have white stuff in my hair that's the edge control gosh darn it here's me thinking it looks phenomenal i mean it does but gosh I'm gonna have to wet it to get rid of that white residue. Tag on it. <laughs> anyway, again, let me know what you guys think down below. Before you go, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you are not already subscribed, please be sure to click that subscribe button down below and that notification bell so that you don't miss any of my new uploads. I will see you guys in my next video, which will likely be on Friday. See you later. What's up y'all, it is the next day. I wanted to show you an update. It is no longer white in my hair. The way that I was able to get the white residue out of my hair is I took my edge control brush, wet the bristles, and then just comb, or not comb, but brush that white part with water and water only. I did that right before I went to bed so that I could be able to tie my hair down and not have to worry about my hair puffing up too much. But I am going to lay my edges once again because look at it oh i didn't show you this side but right i think right about here it was really really white and now it's gone i am in love again <laughs> Super easy, super quick, um, natural hair, protective style, if you will. One thing about this that I love is that it does not hurt at all. It feels like a looser ponytail, even though it's tight. And I, I'm pretty sure the reason for that is because of the swirly curly hair tie that I'm using. It does not cause any tint. Like, I'm literally fine. I felt fine all day yesterday. I feel fine today. Granted, it could be tighter, but for what? <laughs> I'm done for real this time, so I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you guys so much, and I will see you on Friday in the next video. Bye.